In this video, you are seeing what is known as a murmuration of starlings. The birds spin and dance and form absolutely beautiful patterns. But how do the birds accomplish this? Is there a central leader orchestrating the motion? Does every bird know exactly where it is going at all times? Do the birds at the center of the flock know what the birds at the outside of the flock are doing? Do the birds even know what a flock is? By creating a computer model of complex systems like these, we can hope to understand mechanisms that could possibly generate these emergent patterns. How simple are the rules that govern the innate pattern of birds flocking? What kinds of rules are they? And what happens if you change or perturb the rules? Can you use these rules to help understand other patterns of behavior unrelated to the flocking of birds? Even if we can describe birds with simple rules of behavior, can we use the same approach to describe human behaviors? Can we use some of the same modeling principles to understand human interactions? Can we construct models to help us understand crowding in a bar or understand the public reactions to sporting events? Can we build upon this modeling framework to understand even more complex economic behavior? Can we explore how an individual's micro decisions lead to macro patterns of behavior? Can we shed light on how the whole is sometimes more than the sum of the parts? And then there are the modern forms of communication and media. Twitter, Facebook, Vine, Medium, Instagram, Snapchat. The list goes on and on and on. These enable new and distinct methods of behavior and communication that amplify the social network of an individual and can lead to political uprisings, social unrest, and societal transformations. But all of these complex systems have a common core. In the end, the focus of analysis is on the individual agent, whether that be a bird or a human or a company, and how that agent interacts with other agents to give rise to emergent patterns of behavior that are not defined at the level of any individual agent. So the question becomes, how do we create and build models that best examine agent-based behavior? Hi, I'm Bill Rand. I'll be your instructor for the course, and I'm a professor of business management at North Carolina State University, and also a computer scientist by training. During this course, we're going to explore things like why you should use agent-based modeling and how it's changing the way that we think about complex systems and complex patterns of behavior. We'll talk about what agent-based modeling is, what the components of an agent-based model are, what the rules that govern the behavior of those agents might be, and what kinds of patterns and phenomenon you might see emerge from an agent-based model over time. We'll talk about how agent-based modeling has been used already in areas that are very wide and disparate, such as biology, economics, politics, anthropology, environmental science, and business and management. We'll talk about how you can create your very own agent-based models using a widely available, freely uh, available, and open source tool called NetLogo. And we'll talk about how you can create the questions that you might want to understand with those models and how to build it from the ground up. We'll talk about how once that model has been created, you can then analyze the results of that model to try and explore the patterns of behavior that are seen within it. And we'll talk about how you can use what you've learned to understand, extend, and analyze models that other people have created and to understand the patterns of behavior that those models are illustrating. So if you're interested in these topics and interested in these questions, go to complexityexplorer.org and sign up now.